Hi there and welcome to the Excited Wanderer channel. Today we discuss the top 8 things to do around Haneda and you'll see why it is so much more than just the airport. In my last video, I talked about the differences between landing in either Narita International Airport and Haneda International Airport. So if you'd like to see what that's about, click on the top right hand corner of your screen now to go to that video. I'll also leave a link in the description box below. But first, I make short but detailed travel videos that make it easier for you to plan for your holidays. I upload 4 episodes every week, so if this is something that interests you, then I hope you'll consider subscribing to the channel. First, you gotta explore the airport. There are plenty of fantastic things to see and experience in the airport itself. You could head into the souvenir shop to get yourself acquainted with the many snacks, food and souvenirs that you'll bring home. Once your shopping's done, head into one of the many restaurants to fill up on some of the best cuisine that Japan has to offer. There is even a half-size replica of the Nihon Bashi Bridge inside, where it symbolically represents the beginning and end of your journey in Japan. Other places you might enjoy is a large viewing deck that you could go and see planes land or take off. Definitely a must-do for aviation enthusiasts. There's even a planetarium where you could enjoy a meal underneath a sky of 40 million stars. The Jonanjima Seaside Park This is a community park in Ota Ward which has a large campground and sandy beach to explore. There are specific spots for picnics which you should try to have because this park is also great for watching planes take off from the airport as well as for watching ships entering the ports in Tokyo. For a fee, you could also purchase some meat, food and a grill, then get your own barbecue started. So grab some food, find a great spot to sit and enjoy the view. The Japan Airlines Factory Tour and Sky Museum This tour is a dreamland for aviation enthusiasts. You get a tour through Japan Airlines' hangar and maintenance facilities, learn about its history and even be allowed to wear the uniforms for photos. The tour is an hour and 40 minutes long and it is entirely in Japanese, but don't let that stop you. The tour gets great reviews from non-Japanese speakers on TripAdvisor simply because the tour gives you access to places that you wouldn't normally be able to go. One of the reviewers was also able to watch an actual Boeing 777 being backed into the hangar, which is awesome. They were also able to tour different aircraft like the B767 and the B737. You are free to take as many photos and videos as you want, plus the museum has many displays of the airline's history and aircraft models. The Haneda Shrine if you love shrines that is wrapped in ancient history, then I've got just a thing for you. The Haneda Shrine traces back 800 years. In 1861, a shogun came to pray at the shrine for the end of the smallpox epidemic that was ravaging Japan. His prayers were answered and since then, worshippers would come from all over the country to pray for the recovery of loved ones. It is also the main shrine where people would come and pray for a safe flight before heading to the airport. So if you've always had anxiety whenever you're about to fly, making a prayer at this shrine could help make your worries disappear. And I wish you happy flying! The Ikegami Honmonji Temple During the 13th century, there was a famous Buddhist priest called Nichiren who became the founder of Nichiren Buddhism. This is a branch of the Mahayana Buddhism based on the Lotus Sutra. It claims that all living beings possess an internal Buddha nature that is capable of gaining Buddhahood in current life. On October the 12th, he passed away in this temple and since then, the temple greets 300,000 devotees from all over the country on the anniversary of his death. This temple is a 20 minute car ride from Haneda airport and has many places of interest including the oldest pagoda in the region and a statue of Nichiren. If you're here during the cherry blossom season, you should consider paying a visit as the temple gets transformed entirely for the season. It is a great spot to enjoy yourself because it isn't as heavily populated compared to being in the city. Haneda XL Hotel Tokyo This hotel is located inside Haneda Airport's Terminal 2 and is a great place to stay for the night, especially if you're arriving on a late flight. 
It's very convenient to stay in the airport itself because you can immediately take a shower and then head to bed. Very helpful especially if your flight was long and you're feeling exhausted. The hotel also provides a wide variety of international dishes in its restaurant and you can choose between rooms that have ocean views or views of the runway. So if you're an aviation enthusiast or if you have kids with you, you're gonna have a great time looking at the many planes from the window. Mercedes Mi Haneda Located in the basement of Haneda Airport's Terminal 2, this is the first Mercedes Mi store in Asia. You'll get to see the latest releases of the Mercedes-Benz cars on display, so if you're a fan of the brand or are a car enthusiast, this is definitely worth checking out. If you're feeling hungry, why not grab a bite at the store's cafe? They have a wide selection of tasty dishes, some that are decorated with the distinctive Mercedes logo. There are few things in this world that can make you feel like a million bucks, and eating your meal while being surrounded by luxury Mercedes-Benz cars is definitely one of them. Ota City Tourist Info Center The center is next to the KQ Kamata Station and is only 6 minutes away by train from the airport. Here, you can learn about the local community and get some great sightseeing tips and hands-on cultural experiences like the Japanese calligraphy, origami classes and much more. The info is provided in a variety of languages like English, Chinese and Korean. So if you have some time to spend here, definitely check out the Tourist Info Center. In conclusion, as we've seen, Haneda is definitely so much more than just an airport, and with Tokyo City a mere 15 minutes away by train, it is often overlooked. If you have a day to spare, it's definitely worth checking this area out. You might be surprised with what you find. If you like this video, do consider subscribing to the channel and hit that notification bell to get updated on future videos. And I'll see you in the next episode.